Okay, your gaming tutor is here, and we are in the final video of how to survive Dark Souls Remaster. The first thing we do is we go to Andre, we talk to him, and then we purchase something from him, something very important. We click on this key and purchase Crest of Artorias. It costs an arm and a leg, but if you want to finish this game, you must have it. Or you can simply kill Andre and take it off his body. I don't recommend it though. Now we walk. We walk to Darkwood Garden, and then we walk again. We walk, we fight, and we kill until we get to this gate and by using the item we just purchased we open this gate and can you guess what we're going to see a forest but it's not just an ordinary forest it's a forest filled with blood thirsty knights warriors bandits sorcerers who every single one of them wants to kill us uh. If you don't want them to kill you, you should kill them first. Yeah, common knowledge, I know. Well, after that, you need to get in that room. Inside that room, you find a bridge. You need to cross it to enter this area, this mushroom infested area. But first, turn around and behind this wall, you find a chest. It has something that can be considered valuable. A set of armor named stone armor. When I say mushroom infested, I mean these big ass mushrooms with Saitama level punches. Good news is they are slow and you can simply walk away, let them follow you, buy yourself some time and then go and get whatever in that chest. Enhanced ember. Nice. We continue. Eventually find this bridge which leads to a gate that gate we cross the bridge and can you guess what happens the moment you open this gate are you ready to see it can you guess nothing nothing happens it's just a peaceful area with a big grave in it behind it you can find a ring a hornet ring but that's not why we are here. We are here to interact with that grain. Why? To activate a very important boss fight. A boss fight with a big bad wolf. How to defeat this boss? Well, the weakness of this boss is to stay under his belly. It's his blind spot. As long as he stays beneath his belly and hit his legs you are fine just like this roll down and attack the legs not gonna lie it's gonna be a little bit tough boss fight but you can make it I believe in you and do you see this? The big bad wolf is exhausted, but he's still he is fighting. That's why we are going to give him the last blow and wall up. By defeating this boss, we get this ring, Covenant of Artorias, which is the reason we came here. Now, we go to Firelink Shrine and go all the way back to New London Ruins. I think two videos ago, we came here, we did some crazy things and we opened a gate and so many things then we left now we came back to continue where we left at this point you don't have to go the previous way you simply jump down and use the ladder we dropped in previous walkthrough it's a shortcut it makes our way shorter we continue and we go back to this tower. It was the place we opened that gate. And we get in this elevator and we go down. And we see so many dead bodies and dragons. But we ignore them. We just continue. However, there are some NPCs here who are not interested into ignoring us. That's okay. 
is simply unaligned. Just walk around to find these stairs. Go up the stairs to find more stairs. Until you find this cottage. Go inside the cottage. Inside the cottage you find this item. Beside a black skull soldier thing. We get rid of him. And we continue. You might say, wow, boss fight? Nope, there is no boss fight. Just get in and you will face the most horrendous thing you can find. Not this. That. I have no idea what it is, but it's so ugly that we need to kill it. And we kill it. It reminds me of Substance. Have you seen that movie? We continue. We get in here. We found a pool. We go up and I have no idea why I'm describing every step of this area. You simply can figure it out on your own. And oh, by the way, on the web, you find a dead body that has an item. It has cracked red orb. It's crucial for you to break cares. And here we find a baby ghost. We kill it. But, oh, okay, maybe it's not a baby ghost. We use our transmit talisman and we get rid of them. And there is another of those abomination with those skeletons around. Retreat! If you don't retreat, this happens to you. We kill them and let's go for the abomination. Actually, I'm gonna cut it out. There's, it's not very necessary for you to know. You simply need should kill it. The moment you pass through this gate, there it is. There it is the boss fight. But before you enter, you need to open your inventory and wear the ring we found in the previous boss fight. You have to have it on your finger and then you enter. You are in this tower. Well, I don't know. All you need to do is to jump. And now you are in a peach black area. It's called Abyss. You might say, so what? A boss fight. To be more precise, four boss fights. There are four kings. And you have to fight with every single one of them. Don't worry. You have to fight them one by one. Not four of them all together. When you defeat one, the other one shows up. And that's pretty much all of it. And technically, to be honest, I think it's not four boss fights. It's four mini boss fights. You know what I'm, what I'm trying to say? It's easy. Don't worry about it. We simply get rid of it. My new drum. In my previous walkthrough, this boss fight was a pain in the neck. But for some reason, it got easier. Maybe it's because of my build. The third one, and we now we need. There it is, the fourth and final one. We go for it, and we kill it. No, we come on, we kill it. Uh. And that was the final blow. He died. When the final boss is defeated, you find a bonfire. Sit next to it and teleport to what was it called? Firelink Altar. After defeating all the four primary boss fights and offering their souls to the Lord Vesser, the gate will be open. Now, if you just want to finish the game, go straight ahead. There is a boss fight at the end, you defeated it and the game will be over. But for now we go back. Because I'm gonna show you some of the most important hidden areas in this game that I'm sure you will definitely miss. Let's go. Okay, let's go back to the first place we started this game. The Undead Asylum. How are we going to get there? We go on this elevator, we go up and we jump out. We walk. We go right and we stand on the edge of this cliff and then we jump 
thin road. Now, you find the stair, go up the stairs, but stop here. See that item? We need it. Jump down and pick up that item. What is it? Undead Asylum F2 West Key. It opens the door we couldn't open when we were there. Oh, I'm sorry. We repeat the process, but this time we go to the top of the stair and we find the big ass nest with two eggs. We sit inside it and we act like an egg. You might say, what's the point behind this? It's a little bit hard to digest, but just do it. And here we are. We are back to Northern Undead Asylum, the place we started our game. And as you can see, everything has changed. However, everything still wants to kill us. Keep in mind, for the sake of yourself, when you enter this area, don't go straight ahead. Just take this path. I will show you why. But for now, just follow my walk. Just don't forget to rest at this bonfire. Otherwise, if you die, you will go back to Firelink Shrine. Follow this path. On your left, you find a big fat monster. There he is. On your way, you find that thin and angry knight. We kill it. He is on because he is on our way. And if we continue, you will get back to the first place we started the game. And we find out an item, a peculiar doll. What does it do? Let's find out. Read the description. It says, eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. Interesting. Does it ring a bell? We'll find out soon. But for now, go back to the hall. I told you, don't go straight ahead. If you go straight ahead, this happens. A boss fight will be activated and you have to deal with that big fat ugly monster and since we have no other choice we have to deal with it and get rid of it bingo and we just defeated him victory achieved good job now the big question is how are we going to get the hell out of this asylum it's simple, on top left of this hall, you will find a ladder. All you need to do is climb the ladder. And when you climb the ladder, on your left, you find a broken cage. I think it's right to say broken steel fence. Whatever, it doesn't matter, it's broken and it's open. That's all we need to know. Now let's talk about the reason we came here that item when we were here at the beginning of this game we couldn't open this door but since we have the undead asylum key we can open this door and rusted iron ring what does it do all this for this i have no idea what it does i'm not interested in knowing this but if you know please comment it and if you don't know don't comment it let's go back we go back to the big nest act like an egg and the stupid big black bear will pick us up and send us back to Firelink Shrine. Now let's go to Honorlando, the Chamber of Prince. Look at this big beautiful lady. But what if I tell you she is not a big or beautiful or lady? What if I tell you she is an illusion? If somehow you attack her, she disappears and everything changes every single thing the woman an illusion the light an illusion the goddamn sun was an illusion too everything in Orlando was an illusion you might say so what i'm not gonna tell you so what i'm gonna show you so what when you enter this area instead of seeing those golden giants Soldiers, you see just these two who wants to kill you. But that's not it. If you continue at the bottom of the stairs, you find a familiar face. Can you guess who? The firekeeper, who is totally mad at you because you destroyed the illusion and wants to kill you. And we have no choice but. How? This man is a threat. 
You know what? Let's just look at the bright sun. By killing her, we get a free fire keeper sword, which we can use to upgrade our Estus flask. But that's not it. If we push this lever and go to this place, you realize the statue that once stand here is gone. It happened because it was an illusion. By the way, you don't have to destroy the illusion to have access to this area. If we use the ring we found in catacombs, we can have access to this area without causing any problems. Now, we are about to enter a boss fight. It might be hard in the first glance, but if you do as I say, we can easily defeat her in the first attempt. Now let me explain. Whenever she attacks with these magical orbs, the moment it's about to hit you, roll forward. That's it. And whenever she goes up like this, it means she's gonna attack you with knives. Use your big sword or shield to shield yourself. And that's it. We roll, we walk, and when you are close enough, that's the moment you need to run and hit her. And that's it. Just repeat this process. Keep in mind, when she disappears, we still for a few seconds have time to hit her. And that's pretty much everything you need to know to defeat this boss. Just repeat this process and we can easily get rid of her. We roll before she hit us. And keep in mind, do not run. Just walk. Only run when you are close enough. And voila, that's it. Easy peasy Sweet lemon squeeze. At the end of this corridor, you can find three chests. One of them has miracle. The other one has fire keeper set of armor, and the third one has nothing. Yeah. Now I'm about to show you the biggest and craziest hidden area in this game. Remember, we found a doll in under the side, and in the description, this doll talk about a painted world. Now we have that item. We can interact with this painting and when you interact with this painting something incredible happens. The painting will swallow you like this. Welcome to the painted world of Ariamis. Keep in mind this area is not a DLC. It's not part of expanding package. It existed in the original game and I'm sure so many people finish the game without knowing it actually existed. Now, in order to enter this area, you find a set of stairs here. All you need to do is going up the stairs. You will see so many crazy and insane and angry enemies. You will have to unalive all of them in order to proceed. Okay, there is an item right there and I almost forgot. This place is infested with this hybrid of bird and human which is the biggest pain in the neck and sore in your eye. But you have to deal with them. There's no way. And I'm gonna pick it up by jumping around this edge. Okay, keep in mind, you cannot exit this game by using a bonfire or anything. I'm gonna show you the way to exit this place. So simply follow my footsteps. The sole purpose of creating this area was to kill you when you get to this balcony keep in mind to cut down this dead body so you can later you can pick up the item and if you go up the stairs you see more hybrid of bear than human we get rid of them and at the top of this, these stairs we can find another hybrid of bear than human we politely ask him to get the hell out of our way and at the top we can find that item by following these stairs and going down you will reach the bottom of the tower which is the crucial point if you want to get the hell out of here see that gate that's our way to freedom we can't open it yet first we need to pass through that you enter this area you see a bunch of angry NPCs who still want to kill you ignore them and try to reach this gate and open it ladies and gentlemen you just opened a shortcut fantastic here you can find your bonfire there it is now we don't have to take that cares pass again 
Now, we go back. But this time we go left. See? Remember, this is the item we draw from up there. But that's not the only reason we came here. The reason we came here is that well. Obviously, we need to get inside that well. And when you get inside, you find yourself in the maze of dark tunnels. Feel with these pesky skeletons. You have to walk around and try to find these walls. They are illusion. Hit them and you find yourself in this area with more pesky skeletons. We did all this to get ourselves to that lever. We interact with it and this happens. This statue rotates and that gate will be open. How to get out of this cursed area? Well, always follow light. And when we climb the ladder, we get to this point. And I'm sure it wouldn't be hard to get yourself to this point. Yes. And there it is. On your way to freedom. But we're not gonna take it yet. I'm gonna show you something crazy. See that? Let me show you. See that? That's a dead dragon. But there is a plot twist. It's not a dead dragon. It's just a dragon. And the moment you reach it, it wakes up, it gets mad, and it starts following you. It's a star following you, and you need to run for your life! And. I survived. It pukes because it got so mad that it couldn't kill us. But we don't care. Now, let's get the hell out of this stupid area. And you might say, wow, boss fight. No, that's actually that's a boss fight. But she is an optional boss fight. If you attack her, she will attack you. If you have a conversation with her, she politely asks you to get the hell out of her by going to this edge and jump down. Now, let me show you another thing. Let's go to Undead Bear. Go back to that tower. But this time we're gonna open this door. We use the key we found after killing that big butterfly. If we go down there, you're gonna see something thick. Are we kidding? He drops a very useful item, Hovel's ring. What does it do? If you wear this ring, you can carry heavier armors. Look at my equip load. The moment I wear this ring, my equip load from 100 jumps to 151, which is fantastic. And we are now in Darkwood Basin. And last but not least, which is the reason this channel was created. But before we go there, we need to boost our curse resistance. Because we are gonna receive a lot of curse damage. The first time I played this game, I came to this area. I was sure there was something hidden here. Therefore, I decided to hit everywhere. And I did it. I hit everywhere in hope of finding a hidden pass. Except the one I needed to and then I said maybe there is no hidden pass until I accidentally found this hidden area on a YouTube video That was the moment I decided to create this YouTube channel and teach people about all the ins out secrets Easter eggs tips of popular games so this area is the reason gaming school was created in this area you will see so many of these big Lizards. That's why crucial you need to boost your curse resistance. Otherwise, surviving this area will definitely be a pain in the neck. And that all you need to do is to go down. Find any way that helps you to go lower. I mentioned this before, but I repeat again. These things are weak against fire damage. Therefore, it's recommended to use bomb or pyromancy.
And here we are, almost at the bottom of our journey. And unfortunately, we see these baby mushrooms who still want to kill us. That's why we teach them a lesson. Yes. This is Dark Souls. This is how you teach others to respect you. Big mushrooms. With their sightum of level punch. You know what? I think we came a long way. It's better to avoid fighting them. Just ignore them. And you find this. Just enter this area and there it is. Ash Lake. Beautiful. And bonfire. Fantastic. We sit here and rest because we came a long way. I have played this game for up to five or six times. And the thing I'm gonna show you now is the first time I see it. If you ignore that monster and just try to go your way, that monster does this. This is the first time I see this. I've came to this place before, but I thought there were two or three of them. Just walk. That was close, but we're gonna make it. Okay, I think I made it. Now all I need to do is continue. Oh, that was close. Here it is. A dragon. Next to a bonfire. We rest at the bonfire. And we level up. We also can interact with this dragon and ask him or it to join its covenant. Okie dokie, let's go for the final boss fight. We are at the end of our journey. I know it took me one year to finish this game. But I did it. I hope you forgive me. Just listen. Just look. The aura. Everything. Shows you're about to enter the final boss fight. Kill of the first flame. The final boss fight is waiting for us in that building. And of course, it's not gonna be easy, there are some guards on the way, but don't worry, they aren't big. After dying so many times and defeating some of the hardest bosses in this game, we are invincible. Nothing can defeat me. And it might sound stupid, but in my opinion, the final boss fight is not the hardest boss fight. If you could defeat the twins, the fat one and thin one, you can easily defeat this one. Just, you need to keep in mind, don't underestimate it. Watch out your stamina, two attack, one retreat, and that's it. Let's go for the final boss fight. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Just keep in mind, if you defeat this boss, the game will be over. No more searching around, no more adventure. You have to start the game all over again. As New game plus. And about the strategy how to defeat this boss, I recommend you to use a shield and stay as far as possible. And never, ever stand in front of him. Always try to attack him from left or right. Besides that, it's a simply normal and easy boss. Yes, this is the final boss fight. It doesn't matter. If you could camp this far, you definitely can easily beat it. Maybe not in the first attempt or second, but in the third or fourth, you got it. Of course, as you can see, it deals fire damage. So, wear an armor that gives you fire resistance. And we did it! Now you have two choices. You either can sacrifice yourself to enlighten the fire and continue the age of light, 
or you can simply walk away and start the age of darkness which is what we are going to do I died so many times to get to this point I'm not gonna die one more time to this shit repeat itself so we simply leave to start the age of darkness My lord, bless thy secret earth Let God and Frank serve your things Bingo! We are here to serve your highness Well it's up to you This is your game It's gonna be your walkthrough So this is your decision to make Not mine I just show you the way And that's it my Dark Souls Remastered tutorial is eventually over. It took me a year, I know, but to be honest, I wasn't slacking off. I was busy and I had to make, record, edit this video during my free time. Therefore, I appreciate it to like this video, share this video and subscribe. And if you want me to have more time to work on these videos and make even better one, I would appreciate it too. Cyber donate me by sending me Bitcoin or Ethereum. My wallet address is in the description. Or you can simply purchase our NFT collection. It's not those NFTs that 10x your money, but it's a public certification that shows and proves you supported us when nobody believed in us. And thank you. Thank you a lot. Until another video, take care of yourself and have a fantastic and fabulous day.